Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a common and frustrating problem, Pearson VUE software errors, specifically those pesky network or system check issues you might encounter when you've scheduled an exam. If you're facing these errors, you've come to the right place. I know I uploaded a quick fix video on this last year, but it seems like some of those methods might not be as effective anymore. So let's dive into some updated solutions to get you through that system check. All right, let's start with method one. The first thing you'll need to do is find that email you received from Pearson VUE for checking into your exam. It should look something like this. See that option to test your system. You're going to copy that link. Now, here's the important part. Paste that link into an incognito or private browse window of a different browser. For example, if you usually use Chrome, try Firefox for this. If you're an Opera user, switch to Chrome or Firefox. Once you've got the link open in the new incognito browser, proceed with the steps as prompted. This will often involve getting a new access code. Use that new code and try to complete the system test. This fresh environment can sometimes bypass whatever is causing the hiccup in your primary browser. Now, for method two. A lot of the time, these network issues are faced by Windows users. So we're going to try temporarily turning off the Windows Defender Firewall. Click on your Windows button or press the Windows key and search for Windows Defender Firewall. Open up the firewall application. In the firewall settings, you should see an option on the left that says something like, turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Click on that. Now, you'll want to turn off the firewall for both private and public networks. Go ahead and select Turn off Windows Defender Firewall for both. Click OK to save the changes. After you've turned it off, restart your device. This is a crucial step. Once your computer has rebooted, try the Pearson VUE check-in process again. And please note, do not use any previous access codes you'll need to generate a new one using the link in your Pearson VUE email, just like we did in the first method. Hopefully, one of these methods will get that system check passed for you. However, if you've tried both of these and you're still running into problems, please feel free to drop me a message via WhatsApp. I'll do my best to help you troubleshoot the issue. I'll make sure to attach my WhatsApp contact link in the description below this video. That's all for today's video. I really hope this helps you get past those frustrating Pearson VUE errors. Wishing you the very best of luck with your exams.